Welcome to another exciting edition of the program. This is Counter Diary. Counter Diary, we are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu, and if you are just joining my channel, please make sure you hit the subscription button, uh, you know, to subscribe to this channel. I want to say thanks to all of you, my return viewers, for always making sure to check out this channel for more videos on Liberia. So today's edition of the program, we are driving along the Rabat International Airport Highway in Maikibi and that of Maserati County. So I'm driving on this road to show you uh, the progress level when it comes to the road construction. And this road construction is being carried out by East International. So let's see the progress level on this road. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. Keep watching. The Rabat International Airport is the only international airport in Liberia. RIA, serving as the only airport in the country, receives thousands of travelers every year. However, the road leading to the airport has been a major challenge to the government of Liberia due to its narrow nature. Therefore, constructing a highway to link Morovia and its environs to the airport cannot be overemphasized, as the highway also connects Grand Basel and other southeastern counties. The RIA Highway was built in the 1940s during World War II by Americans. In its 70 years of existence, the RIA Highway has received several upgrades but not to international standards. Past leaders of Liberia, including the immediate past President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, described the project as a major concern to the government of Liberia and its citizens. Upon taking office in 2018, President George Manawia announced the upgrading of the RIA Highway to a dual carriage. President George Weir officially opened the RIA Highway extension and paving on February 20th, 2020, with the project title Upgrading to a Dual Carriage ELWA to Rabat International Airport. The road runs from the ELWA junction in Painesville, Maserati County, to the unification town in Maikibi County. The four lane road covers about 45 kilometers with a cost of 95 million United States dollars. The project was expected to be completed and dedicated in 2023, but this seems to be very impossible as a significant portion of the road has not been touched. The cost of the project was divided in three segments. The actual construction is valued at 80 million United States dollars. Design and supervision costs 7 million United States dollars, while management and resettlement is valued at 7.5 million United States dollars. Okay, guys, so we stay uh, driving on the Robert International Airport Highway, and I'm currently uh, somewhere around the Tower Hill community. I just uh, passed the Tower Hill community, and uh, yeah, so at this portion of the road, Stay in tight. 
I think some major areas, like you can see uh, around the ambush curve, and uh, those areas that are more like swampy area, uh, those places that have swamp, other areas have been uh, attacked, <laughs> just to say, by the contractors on this road, the East International and the uh, and the workers are still working, uh, but between this part of the road from uh, Boystown, as far as where I am right now, the just past Tower Hill community, and I'm heading to the ambush curve where the construction work is ongoing. The Robert International Airport Highway construction project is being carried out through a China Liberia joint venture, and the contractors are the East International Group and China Railways. Since the commencement of the project, the contractors have been heavily criticized by commuters, citizens, and other international travelers due to the slow pace of the work. Travelers have always complained about the hazardous nature of the road. Despite criticism, it seems that the project is well on course as the road is gradually taking shape with major coverage and bridges being installed on the road. A significant portion of the road is being constructed. And this can be seen clearly from the ELWA junction to Tinkas Village in Moserado and from Ambush Curve to the Unification Town in Maggibi County. I mean, this is the much talk about uh, ambush curve and uh, as you currently can see uh, there's installation of coverage going on and uh, we've done some part of it so now they're trying to fill it up so keep watching this is counter diary my name is Simon Nokotu we are telling the untold stories of Liberia even though there has been a delay the contractor East International is doing everything possible to do a significant portion of the road before the beginning of the rainy season the RIA Highway, when completed, will, will serve as a relief to commuters, citizens, and international travelers. The highway also connects southeastern Liberia, which holds three major seaports. Well, we are still looking forward to the completion of this project with the pressure from the government of Liberia, the legislature, and the executive branch, and its citizens. It seems that this project will be completed soon. However, it may not just be completed in the stipulated time. This is Counter Diary. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. Keep following. So from the ambush curve, I'm uh, just climbing up the Disco Hill. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories, uh, telling you the progress level on this particular road. Uh, then we'll come back to compare as to what uh, the government of Liberia or that of the East International will be able to complete this road as planned. Keep watching. This is the show that lets you know exactly what is happening in Liberia. My name is Ibano Kotu. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscription button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also share with your family and friends to continue to watch uh, my channel for more video on Liberia.
Thank you.